my pleasure to introduce the Safe Travel Ecosystem connected by Amadeus, which is our collaborative answer to the change we face due to the pandemic. And the director of the World Health Organization can be quoted here with this quote, we cannot go back to the way things were. And that is certainly true also for the travel industry across all the different travel verticals. And that leads to our joint goal as an industry that we have to deliver solutions to regain trust. Trust is super important for both the travelers, but also for governments. So the travelers obviously must regain trust to create demand, but equally important, the governments need to have the trust that they are able to control the pandemic, reduce restrictions and allow travel because the whole ecosystem is safe for travel. So our approach has three central components and the components require collaboration across the whole ecosystem of our industry. Number one is harmonization or standardization. Number two is digitalization and number three is collaboration. And I go through each of them. With harmonization, of course, we mean we need global standards and agreements to create efficient solutions and ensure interoperability. Isolated and fragmented solutions will not help. We absolutely have to have interoperable solutions which work across the globe, across the different verticals. And of course, this requires also the commitment from national governments to implement the standards which are needed on national level. And the commitment must be global. Across the globe, uh, governments must commit to join. And of course, there is a new urgency for global organizations based on, on the existing roles, the existing organizations um, to lobby for these standards, to commit to these standards. And urgency is something which is usually not um, connected to creating global standards. But of course, we would like to have these standards as soon as possible to get our industry restarted. If you look at digitalization, of course, this has several aspects and I would like to touch along those three here. There is a new need for information, intuitive information for travelers around restrictions, around testing, around vaccination. And the travelers need to have an intuitive access to all this information at the different points along the journey. Touch points in searching for a destination, touch points with travel sellers, with airlines, with hotels. This information should be available in a structured and easy to access format. But of course, touchless and contactless technology becomes a very, very important part in our whole journey process. So touchless solutions like biometrics, traveler identities, um, remote controls to avoid physical contacts during the journey are increasing the safe travel processes along the way of the traveler. And it's very important and we see an acceleration of the adoption of these technologies which do exist but uh, which will be rolled out much faster through, uh, due to the pandemic than we have thought before. And the third one, and that's maybe the newest one and the one which is mostly discussed in the press, is the health verification. So the health verification of the travelers is a new topic and um, we've seen a lot of regulations around it. We've seen a lot of solutions and health paths, wallets, uh, mushrooming across the globe, global initiatives, national initiatives, and just a very fragmented solution landscape. And it's very, very important that these verification possibilities are seamlessly connected into the journey flow like, for example, the check-in process or others. So digitalization has gained really in importance and is accelerated as a pillar of a safe travel ecosystem. And last but not least, the third one, it's collaboration. And collaboration is required at a totally new scale. So new partnerships appear between travel players, between countries, technology providers, existing ones, but also new ones, non-governmental organizations, global associations, health organizations, 
and new partnerships need to be established to make things happen as fast as possible and to connect solutions which are available. Sharing of data. So the travel industry is very much driven by silos of data, but we have to go beyond single providers and single companies and single product view to really enable an end-to-end -end journey in a connected and interoperable way. And that is really a whole new level of collaboration that kicks in on a global level and that needs all actors um, mentioned to, to work together to get this industry restarted. And to illustrate uh, the journey, we have just this slide and here you see that the different categories of uh, technology will help the traveler along the journey. So of course, when you start to look for uh, a journey or uh, you access an agent or a provider, you have a need for, for, for information. Yeah. So the information is relevant and it needs to be accessible, as I mentioned before, in an intuitive way along the journey. But then um, as soon as actually the traveler starts to move physically, this new health verification kicks in and it is of course uh, necessary to uh, to enter a plane for example to board but it increasingly is discussed also to enter events to enter a hotel to enter a cruise ship so we really see uh, this health verification and okay to enter as a new category of technology emerging and in parallel as well along the journey of the traveler we will see increasingly touchless technology supporting the processes, but avoiding physical contacts and by that contributing to a safe travel experience. And all these solutions along the journey need to be connected. They should work interoperably across the globe and at scale. And of course, they should also avoid to produce inefficiency for the travel providers, be it at the airport, at hotels or in other touch points. So it is our mission and our responsibility to connect the travel industry for a healthier future. We really see us as a technological backbone of the whole industry and to have this role of connectivity that we need to enable very fast across the globe. So I would like to invite you to join us uh, in the safe travel ecosystem, which we see as the biggest collaboration exercise ever.